In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue in the Microsoft Store where it doesn't let you download or install new apps to your computer. This issue is a nice and straightforward one to fix, and the first thing I would suggest is to ensure you have enough space on your C drive, as sometimes insufficient space can be one of the main causes of this issue. So in order to clean up our C drive, we're going to come over to our Start menu and search for Run, then tap on the Run icon, and inside of this search box you need to type in the word Temp and hit Enter. Then we can just press continue to this security message and we're going to select everything inside of this folder by pressing Control A on your keyboard and we're going to right click and click the trash icon to delete it. You'll just need to press do this for all current items and select continue and there may be a couple folders and files left behind that it won't be able to delete which is absolutely fine. Then we're going to head out of this window and we're going to come back over to our search menu and search for run and this time we're going to type in percentage sign temp percentage sign and hit enter. Then once again we're going to select everything and we're going to right click and select the trash icon and once again we can select do this for all current items and select try again and that's deleted the majority of things. There's only a couple of files and folders left inside of here so we can close out of this window and next thing you're going to do is go back to the start menu and search for settings then tap on this settings icon and we need to come inside of the system tab from the left here scroll all the way down and come inside of storage and we're going to scroll down here to clean up recommendations then we're just going to select everything inside of this list and we're going to press clean up and this is going to save us over 30 gigabytes of data then we can press continue and you'll need to wait a few minutes for it to delete all of these files and now you can come back over to your microsoft store to check if that's fixed the issue otherwise the next thing we can do is come over to our start menu and search for run then tap on the run icon and this time we're going to type in wsreset.exe and hit enter now this is going to clear all the cache of your windows store and if your windows store pops up like here that basically just means that it's been successful so we can close out of this window and another thing you can do is come over to your start menu and search for windows powershell then you need to right click on windows powershell and make sure to run this as administrator and inside of here we're going to type in the following command and i've already got this saved in my notepad and i'll leave this in the video description for you guys and you need to paste this inside of here and hit enter and this is going to re-register your microsoft store so it would be a complete clean installation and we can then head out of this window and you can then check to see if that's fixed the issue otherwise the next thing we can do is come back to the start menu and you need to search for settings and tap on the settings icon then from the left here scroll down to windows update and we're going to press this check for updates button just to ensure we're running the latest version of windows as outdated software can also cause problems with our applications then you need to come over to apps from the left here inside of installed apps and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page inside of system components then you should see inside of here the microsoft store we need to select these three dots and come into advanced options then scroll all the way down to this reset option and we're going to press this repair button and this is going to try and detect any problems with the application just give this a few seconds to complete and you can then close out of this window and once again we can check to see if that's fixed the issue otherwise move on to the next method now the next thing we're going to do is head over to our start menu and search for run tap on the run icon and inside of here you need to type in services msc and hit enter and from this list we need to find a process called microsoft store install service and it should be running on your computer next to this status symbol and we can double click on this service and just make sure the service status is set to running and also make sure startup type is set to manual and then we're simply just going to press this stop button here and then we're going to restart the process by pressing start then you can press ok and close out of this window and the very last thing we're going to do is come over to our start menu and search for cmd then right click on command prompt and make sure to run as a administrator and inside of here we're going to type in the following command sfc space slash scan now and hit enter now this can take a few minutes to complete so just wait for this verification to get to 100 percent and this is going to scan all of your window core system files just to ensure that everything's in order and there's nothing damaged or broken and once this scan gets to 100 percent this should have now fixed any problems you're having with the windows store if this video did help you then please drop a like and subscribe until next time